Yo, what's up team? Coach Rye here. Just wanted to give you guys a video. I had something happen this week. Um, I was invited to be a guest speaker at uh, a meeting group called Desert Amp Crew. And it is a, a monthly meeting uh, where amputees and um, people with other disabilities and things like that gather together. And uh, they usually have a, a, a health professional or someone come in and teach them some stuff. And uh, this time I was brought in to uh, teach them a little bit about stretching, the importance of it. And, you know, uh, the importance for amputees and people in wheelchairs and things of that nature. And how important it is, is for them to take care of their body and stuff like that. And, but obviously, you know, as that was my presentation, but I took a lot away from it and um, just just the way that these guys carry themselves, the way that they operate and live their day to day lives. And I want to just kind of share some things with you um, that I took away. I went in there always to uh, teach and do my duty uh, as an educator and make sure they left knowing how to stretch and the importance of it and do what I had to do. But I always look back and try to take away things to make myself better and uh, take some messages because I always feel like there are um, lessons in everything and um, that day was uh, full of them for, for, for me uh, especially. And it just came down to guys, um, you know, a lot of people don't even know when I was 15 that I was diagnosed with a medical condition called hypokalemia periodic paralysis. And basically when my potassium levels drop, I actually get paralyzed. So my body doesn't uh, move. So I get severe weakness and my body doesn't function how it's supposed to. And my potassium levels drop and um, basically I get paralyzed and in time if um, it'll come back and uh, my body will function how it's supposed to when my levels go back up. But it's a very dangerous condition and a lot of people don't know about it, okay? So I don't go talking about it and saying I have this or that. Um, when I was 15 years old, I was out there playing baseball. That was um, what I did. And growing up, all I did was play sports and stuff like that. And one day I'm running on the field and I just start losing feeling in my legs. I can't move. And what I do is I run off the field and uh, obviously I'm panicking. I'm losing weakness. And I tell my mom, hey, I'm, I, I can't. Something's wrong. I can't move. Basically, guys, to sum it up, I end up getting fully paralyzed at 15 for my first time. I had to be hospitalized and uh, basically IV'd and brought back. The dangers are that my heart could stop. A lot of things could go wrong. You know what I mean? And for me to um, go present at a place where there's amputees, I had to relate to them. And I can relate to them because I had a life circumstance that altered my life forever, right? And um, that's the story that I told them and how I connected to these guys and how I could relate to them. And uh, one thing I took away is like my mentality and the way that I operate and then the way they operate is totally connected because we have different things that happen in our lives, but we have one circumstance that changed it forever and made us kind of view life in a different manner. And uh, for them, these guys have lost their legs. Some of them, one guy literally just kept rolling his ankle over and over again and severely rolling his ankle and it caused him to lose his leg. One kid got shot six times in the back and got uh, losing, feeling his leg, his leg atrophied and um, hopefully he keeps on to his leg, you know. Then there's other guys that um, literally were born with no legs. So they have these things, but they had to adapt to it. And one thing that uh, it stuck out of all of our way of operating was living a life of no excuses, you know? So we didn't just, none of these guys, when they went around, said, oh me, oh poor me. They looked at it like, hey, this happened, and I'm going to live life no excuses, and I'm going to max out my life 100% no matter what. Like, there's no excuse. These guys train like us, guys. They're going and playing tennis. They're playing pickleball. They're out there in the 120-degree heat on their bicycles. All right? These guys, they're, this kid, Sergio, is swole. He hits the weights hard. He doesn't care. You know what I mean? Because he lives a life in no excuses. And one thing as for us, we live in a facility, we created a business where literally majority of the people constantly got excuses. 
And I could look straight in their eyes and just say, I'm thinking, this is bull crap. I can't believe that this is how people think, right? So you guys got to analyze yourselves because a lot of people, you guys have fully functioning bodies where you are capable of doing anything at any time, at any capacity. But guess what? You hold, you limit yourself because mentally you don't want to push it. There's no problem. You just don't want to do the work. You don't want to do what it takes. And that is the problem. All right. And that's why a lot of people aren't achieving what they want to do. All right. It's too hot to go to the gym. It's too hot to go to the gym. But guess what? you got to change the way you view things. Yes, it's hot, but guess what? You have a fully functioning body. You are blessed, right? These guys, they're missing limbs. They're amputees. And guess what? They're still in their 120 degree weather, and they're on their bikes getting after it. In the heat. No excuse. Their legs causing problems. They're still getting after it. These are the stories I'm hearing. So when I'm hearing this and I'm hearing all these other excuses of why people can't come to class and why people can't stick to their meal plans, things like that, I'm like, guys, you got to shift your perspective. It's one of the most powerful things you can do is change how you view things. Yes, it's hot. Yes, you don't want to go. But guess what? You got a perfectly healthy body that functions. You are blessed. Get to the gym and train. All right. I don't want to eat my food. You have food. You are lucky to have that food, especially to have the option to choose and eat healthy food. Most people in this world don't even have a choice to eat healthy food. They have to eat what is in front of them, what is presented to them, no matter what. So we're able to pick healthy vegetables, healthy meats, get our vitamins, get the things that we need and that we should be putting into our bodies. And we don't want to put it in our bodies because we're making the choice to not have it. All right, but we have full access to it and we should be put doing what's best for us and for our health and for our life, right? Why? Because guess what? Most people don't even have the option. You're blessed to have the option to eat healthy, to be healthy, to be in this situation. A lot of people, oh, I don't like water. And I look at it. You are blessed to have water. Water, the number one nutrient in the world. We have constant access to as you guys have seen, these homeless guys, they are running out of water and they don't even have an option. They, they, they can't even, they, they're running on low supply, but we have it everywhere. Other countries and stuff, they have to walk six, seven hours to get to water and then walk back, take it to their village, give it to their families, and now they have water. After they boil it, dis, you know, and clean it up and purify it and go through this crazy process, but we just, but we don't have water because guess what? We don't like water. Aren't we fortunate, you know, to have that problem? So change your perspective. You're so blessed. We're also blessed to have an option to be healthy and do the things we have to do to be healthy. So it's like, guys, so many people have a lot of real problems in their life and they're not making an excuse of anything. These guys are still getting up every single day. These guys are training hard. I mean, they're taking their nutrition on point. They're getting supplementation. They're going to seminars and meetings to educate themselves, to make themselves better so that they can keep moving forward in life and dominating everything in their path. All right. And that's like what we have to keep doing, too. We should all be trying to live a life with no excuses, you know, and these guys are just it's just very powerful to see it constantly from these guys and how they just operate, how they live. And it's funny how the people that are in the most like the, the, they actually have the, the opportunity to like actually have excuses are the ones that never do. And then the people that just got everything, they're just full of it all the time. And, and guys, it's just like, quit having excuses. You guys need to be getting to the gym because guess what? You got a full functioning body. You need to be eating your food because you're blessed to even have good, healthy food access to you constantly, 24 seven. You could always get a healthy option, but you're choosing to eat the wrong things, all right? And we all have choices in life. We all have choices to wake up every day and say we're going to dominate and do what we want to do because we're blessed to have the body we have. We are, and then we all are blessed to have the option to choose the foods we want, to have access to water, just to have everything we have. We're so fortunate. And then you see these guys, they have so many more problems and they just take, there's no excuses in their life. They're going to get up. They're going to win. They're going to do whatever it takes at any time and just make their lives better. 
you know? And it just makes me think like how many excuses I always hear within the gym. Like we have 150 uh, plus members. So to think that I don't hear excuses constantly is, is bull crap because I hear it constantly and it's like you guys just don't want it bad enough, you know? So if you're someone that's been, been living and giving yourself excuses constantly, 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 start shifting that perspective, all right, of how you view your situation because at the end of the day, you're probably better off than most people and you're blessed, all right? So make sure you guys are getting after it. And, you know, Dulce, she posted a very powerful quote that I got here for you guys yesterday. Your perspective can be your power or your prison. Now, that's powerful right there. That's a real powerful quote, and it's 100% true. The way you view things can make you more powerful, or the way if you're viewing it in a negative way, it could be your prison that holds you back and keeps you from going anywhere. All right, guys? So change your perspective. Uh, just try to live a life with no excuses, you know? And always, if you're giving yourself excuses, try to flip that negative a viewing of it and turn it into a positive one that encourages you to perform at a high level and do the things you have to do to be the best you. All right, guys. So live a life of no excuses and just keep trying to be dominant. All right. So guys, be great and dominate. Have a good one.